Hello friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beard with makeup. So this is a skill that could come in handy whether you are like me, genetically incapable of growing a beard, or whether you are capable of growing a beard and don't want to, or just haven't had time to grow it before your shoot or con, or whatever reason. So first of all, your tools. So you're going to be wanting a stipple sponge and cake makeup. I personally like the Maron, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Star Blend. It comes in so many different colors and lasts you a really long time. I've had this since like 2016, so it's probably technically expired, but like, does makeup really expire like that much? I will put the links to both of those things down in the description so you can get them for yourself. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is put on your foundation and contour if you're doing contour. I'm not doing that because I'm just showing you how to do this for today and that is a whole other video and also too much effort to do for just showing you how to do a beard. Alright, so there are two ways that you can do this. If you want it to be more like 5 o'clock shadow, you can do dry sponge, but if you want it to be darker, especially if you're doing a lighter color, I'm doing black just so it shows up better on camera, but if you're doing a lighter color like I do for like my Caleb, then wet it and it'll show up more intensely. All right, so first off, we're wetting the sponge. You just want it to be a little bit damp. You don't want it soaking in just the end. So the first thing that you're going to do is going to be your mustache. So just put one of the edges in here, just pat it in, and then put your lips in so you don't accidentally get hair on your lips. And Mustache. Look at me. I am dastardly. Now I'm just sort of freehanding this right now because I'm not basing this on any particular character, but you're going to want a picture of whoever you are cosplaying because everyone's beard pattern is different. So I sort of got like this sort of debonair mustache going on. And from there we're just going to go down and make it a bit of a, you know, whatever you call this kind. And then from there, you sort of make the goatee. This is gonna be different for everyone, but got that little bit in the chin. The, is that the soul patch? I don't know beard terminology. And you just sort of fill in on your chin. Now I've got a goatee. I now look like Tony Stark, or with this ponytail, Alexander Hamilton. And you're going to periodically want to re-wet your sponge because that's just how makeup things work. Now from here, you're going to beard it up. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways, so I'm gonna look ridiculous. But if you want a full beard, I usually start like right here, sort of where the mustache ends, and I start going across on the cheek. And start with the top line, and then I fill in below that from there. Ta-da, we have more full beard on this side. Now if you're doing a different sort, I'll show you how I do the beard portion on my Quicksilver cosplay. I am sending makeup everywhere. I'm gonna have to clean it up for myself. So basically I just go down along the chin and up and sort of this area. My hair doesn't want to cooperate. And that is how I normally do my quick sliver because he doesn't have a full beard. And I just sort of fill in lightly in the rest of it. And now for a very important part that could easily be overlooked, you want to continue down under your chin a bit because otherwise it's going to look ridiculous if you move your head in any strange way. So you don't necessarily have to go full neck beard unless your character has that. But you just sort of go down, meet where you are on your jawline, and go down under the chin. Sort of fill it in and make it look a little more 
realistic. I look so silly. <laughs> and there you have it. You now have a beard. Two different kinds, in fact, if you are me. And now you see the rest of the video looking like this. So like I said, I will put the links to the products that I used in the description. On a slightly more announcing note, if you remember a few videos ago, I said that I would be DMing a D&D &D game that would be streaming. The first episode aired at the beginning of April, so if you missed it, I will put the links to the channels where you can watch the VOD down below, and our next uh, session is going to be May 1st, so keep an eye out on my social media for more info on that. And as always, social media is down in the description, and I release my videos every other Wednesday, so see you next time.